Hello everybody and welcome! In today's guide we're gonna be talking all about energy in Black Desert. We'll cover what is it, how to get more, and all the different ways in which you can use it, okay? So first of all, what is energy? Energy is basically your crucial resource in Black Desert. It literally fuels a lot of the different activities. You could think of it as like a stamina for non-combat activities. So let's go through the various ways in which you can use your energy first so first of all you got life skills now with life skills you can uh you you can literally give up energy in exchange for different like gatherable items for example so like here uh if i try to pick up uh this shrub i'm gonna be using energy now uh the thing is if you have a high master if you're if if you're really high in gathering it might not take energy but like in this case we just uh used it and we have one at one less energy now for those of you that don't know energy is literally that number with like uh biceps you know all above your uh hp bar but uh that yeah basically that's where you can see how much energy you have it's gonna tell you like on the left how much energy you got right now and on the right it's gonna tell you like the total energy you can have at any moment so basically right now the maximum energy i can get is 675 while uh the maximum like like the actual maximum cap is probably somewhere like 700 right now but uh basically no matter what you gather or when if you gather you are going to be using some of that energy and in, in exchange you're gonna be receiving uh all sorts of different plants for life skilling which will help you with uh like cooking alchemy you know you know the gist now another way you can use the energy is uh by actually investing it into nodes now i'm gonna explain this a little bit if you press m it's gonna show you the world map and on in the world map you're gonna notice there's those things here like so for example like alejandro farm or like lynch farm ruins right here those are nodes and those nodes basically represent the a, a specific area on the map and on those specific areas like sometimes it's gonna be like stuff for farming and shit like for example here you can you can get some traces you can get some silver azalea this is like plants for uh, alchemy uh you also got stuff for cooking for example here pumpkins uh there's corn and other stuff but there's also like monster zones for example here you've got biragi den for example if you click on it there's literally nothing for you here however if you got like let me go uh down here to orc camp like if you got points of contribution invested in those nodes you can actually add up energy to the node and it levels up and when it says like it says here for me level max basically you get more drop rate from the monster zone as long as you're killing here Right, so if I'm gonna go kill orcs right now, my drop rate is gonna be higher on orcs. While in Biragi then, I don't have the node invested. As you can see, it's grayed out as opposed to this one, which is red. Like the gray out one, I don't have energy invested in it. I don't have the, the contribution invested in it either. So, we won't have the extra drop rate. Um, other than this, you can uh, also use energy for uh, NPC Amity. Uh, NPC Amity basically means like how well, uh, you know, like your relationship with the NPCs in the game, kind of. Uh, they want you to do like different missions for them or like uh, play the Amity game, which I talked about in the previous uh, video as well. But I'm gonna just show you a little bit like what I'm talking about. If you look here, we, if we go here to conversation, right? It says Amity and then there's a number here, it's 254 and uh you can see like uh it, it's a it's a bar that fills up with like this uh like i don't know i'll call it brown again like last time um and you can see like different things that unlock as you get amity so like at what is here basically what does it say it's tre treasure of the grain belt and in the in parentheses it says 100. what does this mean it means that at 100 amity with this npc you can actually unlock this chat with her and then at 230 if you look here you get some knowledge like envy of uh, envy and jealousy 
right? So like, uh, basically as you gain trust with the NPC, she's gonna give you some info and like some helpful stuff. But like, if you don't want to play the Amity game because it's confusing, like right here we got the hammer, like I said in the previous video. Hammer is really good to have as a constellation. Uh, you can also do the lazy but more expensive way. If you sit by the NPC and you press F5, you can see like the character just greets the NPC. I, I'm, I'm not sure if it shows too well, but it, it greets the NPC. And if you look on the top left, it uses up my energy three at a time but it also gives me amity so like if you remember it was 253 and now i used a little bit of energy and then if we go back it's 278 so now my amity increased with this uh like npc just using up some energy so like this is another way you can use up your energy a another good way to use up your energy as you're going through the quests, you're fighting mobs, eventually you'll start like grinding. And when you're grinding mobs, uh, you'll gonna have your energy up there and grinding does not consume energy. So what you can do is if you, if you talk to Black Spirit, so you can either press the coma on your keyboard to engage with Black Spirit, or you can click right here in the bottom right. And uh, it says, it even says Black Spirit if you hover over it. Uh, Black Spirit is gonna show up, you're gonna have exchange, and here, as you can see, you can get give him energy, and he'll give you some buff in exchange. And here it says, like, for example, uh, here it says you get combat EXP plus 20%. Then here it says skill EXP, 8%. And in, ex in exchange for 100 energy, you're gonna get, uh, like, for 60 minutes, the same uh, buffs as the first two, right? So it, like it doubles the amount of time the buff lasts by just doubling the amount of energy you give it. So like you can use the energy like this as well. It's it's a small buff, but like if you're not gonna use the energy on something else, this is a good way to use it as well. Now another way you can use your energy is uh, by hiring workers, and like this is gonna be very important for some of you. Uh, some people don't do like worker empires like breaks basically workers gather resources for you so that you don't have to gather them yourself and i'm gonna show you my storage right here um basically as you can see this is my hydel storage and i got like honey for example cooking honey i got like 200k cooking honey i got like 300k wheat so like the, i have some more in the other like uh, storages as well um and and so on like the, if i would have to gather those myself it would make it would take me way too long so I, i'd rather have the workers do this for me and uh you know I do something else in the meantime so like that's what workers are for and you can come to like some like the work su supervisor here in Heidel. joel is my best friend we got we basically go here we do contract workers and um it says it costs five energy to hire a worker you gotta get five energy you press okay and it shows you a worker and uh, basically this guy this is this guy's cv uh, he's basically a, a green tier war human worker. This is his speed, uh, like work speed and movement speed. The uh, for like movement speed is basically for when the worker goes all the way to the node to gather the resources, while work speed is like how fast he gathers the resources when he's already there, and stuff like that. And like stamina means like how many times he can uh, gather the resources before he uh, like burns out. Let's say. So I, obviously we don't want this kind of work or we can also like go uh, you know like view continuously this helps uh for like if you want a specific type let's say artisan we're gonna do it like all the times like i'm gonna use all of my energy right now just for the example here and it's just gonna you press view continuously and it's just gonna show you and see it just like keeps going and it's only gonna stop when it's gonna be like um uh, like an artisan worker and uh, here it also tells you like how much how many spots it takes like because you need to have like a house for the worker as well and this is the lodging and uh, it tells you your current energy here so you can see it goes like five minus five minus five minus five and then the cost you'll have to pay a little bit of silver um 10k for a blue grade 3.5 for a, a green one and so on 
and uh yeah we're gonna stop here because i don't need workers here it was just for the example but uh, that's another good thing you can do with your energy uh then another good thing you can do with the energy is like there's a secret shop but unfortunately the secret shop is only at night and um it's gonna it's gonna take a while for the secret shop to to work but it's basically this guy you got oh wait Oh, it actually works during the day as well now. Holy shit. I actually didn't know. But yeah, basically you come to this guy and it costs energy. And then it gives you like random items. And sometimes it can be like decent items. Uh, I'm not sure if they updated this in a long time. But um, uh, there used to be like some decent things that you could get here. And you would just burn like, let's see how much does it burn. It's 10 energy. So like you give 10 energy for a chance to get an item here you still have to buy the item but sometimes the price of the item is much uh much smaller than the price you have on uh, central market so that means you would spend a little bit of energy you'd get an item and then you sell it on back on the central market and you just make some money from it like i don't know if this is worth it anymore i would say probably not but if, if you like to have some fun, you could just do this sometime and see what you get. Uh, but yeah, basically you click here, view another, you spend 10 energy, it shows you some stuff. You buy the stuff if you want to or not. Like, here's an example. This one's a resplendent ruby. It has like 47k uh, uh, as a price on central market and it, it asks for 50k for it. So it's not worth it. You're paying more than you would get it from the uh, central market. So it, it's not really too good um but like those are kind of like some of the how should i say this is it's like the best ways in which you can use the energy but how can you gain more energy that is the question right because like there's all those cool things you can do with it uh you can you can uh gather you can fish if you fish you can uh use up uh like more energy you see like there's a lot of people fishing here when you throw your um, fishing rod, you can actually use up more energy for a chance of better, like, fishes and stuff. So, that's another way, like, basically everything that is, like, life skills, you can see them here. Uh, you got, um, like, gathering, fishing, uh, those use up energy in some uh, shape or form. Uh, cooking doesn't really use energy, but you have to gather the stuff for cooking, so it kind of does same with alchemy the alchemy itself doesn't use up energy but like you gather the stuff for it so you can't use it there and the thing is like with gathering um like you spend energy gathering and then you recover the energy while cooking that's kind of the gist that's why they made it this way uh you also got like uh some other ones like some of them don't use like farming uses only a little bit of it i think i use like 10 15 energy every single time i pick up my farm so that's like almost nothing you get it back in like i don't even know five minutes uh but like yeah like some of those use energy some of those don't but like they are interconnected in some shape or form uh but like the way you get more energy so like i'm assuming when you're starting you have somewhere like 100 200 like max energy uh what you want to do is you want to press like h and then on age, we're gonna go all the way up here, and it's gonna say characters. Like, this is the first thing you see when you press age characters. Now, basically, your maximum energy is based on how many of those, like, you've uh, completed. And in order to complete them, you just need to go to this place and talk to the NPC. So, like, here, for example, people of Eastern Belenos. And it says vendors of Velia. And it says right here, energy this is the energy i got from like completing this task here so like i see those are all of the vendors of velia and it tells them by they're all here in in order by name and stuff um and uh it's it tells me that i got two out of two uh max energy from this and on the on the top one residents of velia as well like I, I got all of them and it says two out of two top energy so basically my maximum energy increased by two right that's what it says so all you need to do is just go in every single town and talk to every single npc and uh, like there's gonna be npcs on the path as you're going from place to place just stop for a second talk to them 
uh, you're gonna see some question marks on the minimap just uh, make sure you look up for them and uh, then you just walk up to the question mark there's usually an npc there you can talk to and if he's gonna talk to you you're gonna get an, like maximum energy if in exchange once a category in, in here on age is complete like here right like on residents of velia there's no like question marks meaning that i met every single one of them so like that's that's basically it that's how you get more energy uh, there's uh, one more method in which you can increase your energy but this is just temporarily there's a few potions in which you can increase like your max energy but like that's about it now another thing i want to be talking about is um like with energy consumptions right like if you can increase your maximum energy you can also increase your uh, like current energy as well like there's different ways to do this so, like first of all there's the camasylvia tree buff i have one right here and as you can see it says energy recovery plus two what does that mean so your energy recovers naturally every um three minutes by one point so like you get one energy every three minutes but when you have blessing of Kama Sylvia on it gives you two more that means like every three minutes you get three energies or or like you could say you're getting uh one energy per minute at that point uh there's also other methods to increase like uh this number so you could like for example if you have a residence and you have a bed the bed gives you another plus two so in combination with the Kama Sylvia 3, it's gonna be 3 points plus 2 points from the bed. If you lay in bed, it's gonna be 5 energy every 3 minutes. And uh, there's uh, there's probably more methods uh, that, I, that, that maybe that don't come up to mind right now. But uh, there's ways in which you can get, like there's potions like elixirs and stuff that can give you uh, plus 1 as well. But now there's also another way to do this. So like if you go to Alustin... Like this guy is Alustin. You uh, you can see his name in the top left. Um, this guy, you can meet him in different places all over the map. And if you go to exchange, he's got this. And it says like 50 energy required, 100, 150, 200. Uh, he's giving you realization of energy. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just pick up one just to show you. But like, why, why am I also showing you this? So first of all, you get this. This is what you what we call an energy potion, basically. It's, it's written right on it, okay? It's written right on it. So it's energy potion extra large. So I just paid 200 energy. If you look, right now I have 200 energy left. And this energy instantly recovers 50 of my energy. And I know you're thinking, why would I spend... 200 energy for like a freaking potion that gives me back 50 energy right it doesn't make sense well sometimes you just might not have enough like time to spend your energy uh you might just be grinding all day and then you want to quit and you realize you have like fucking 600 energy sitting there so it's better to just like convert it to an energy potion and uh you know like energy recovers slowly as you're offline as well uh it requires like you don't require energy to grind so like when you're grinding you're just gonna gain energy but like you're not consuming it much so it's good to like just exchange it at least like and you can just exchange this whenever if you don't want to do any sort of life skill or anything i've talked about you can just come here and exchange it for energy potions and once you have enough you can just sell them on the market it's five million a piece you can gather them up and when you have like 100 it's gonna be like 500 mil and why not L rather than let it die there just do this instead and like you can keep it for later maybe you're gonna do life skilling later if you're gonna do it if you have 100 of those let's say uh it's gonna be awesome because now you can just keep going and doing the, the your like a life skilling uh, at a faster pace you know because like once you run out of energy you can no longer gather it's like you, you'll have to wait for it to like you know get, get back up and you gotta get all sorts of different like this is one energy potions but i gotta get stuff like this like hot chocolate from event gives you 15 for example and like there's multiple ones uh, as well like if we go here on my uh gathering character 
you gotta notice there's uh, like those as well, you know. And it, this, it says event, but you got you can you can get it. Like there's gonna be multiple times you're gonna get this. You can probably buy one from uh, like loyalty shop as well in the pearl shop. Um, so it, there's multiple ways of getting this. But yeah, this is one way you can use your energy to get to gather some money and like another way to do this is like this is my character that does farming and farming requires just a little bit of energy uh so like it's it's not really energy intensive or something but like it's a good way to get a little bit of money basically as you're farming uh specific items you can get like fruit of nature and uh like this one is really useful for alchemy and um you're gonna drop a lot of it and uh, this one's gonna get get you a little bit of money, and then those things are what you're looking for, basically. Uh, if you look at it, it says, if you exchange 20 of those blush leaves, it gives you 20 of multiple items. It's an exchange list. What you're looking for is, like, the stone, stone tail Father. Uh, it's, like, really easy. You gotta just gather a few items. Uh, like, once you set it all up, I can actually make a video on this if it if necessary but there's also a lot of like guides about like how to uh, get the, a little bit of money from farming as well but basically once you exchange those leaves you can get like stone tail fodder which is like two and a half million a piece or something like that and basically you gotta get a lot of them and when you sell them you're gonna make a little bit of profit for like almost no effort i'm sure there's probably ways that you can do this even better now uh, but, like, even this is, like, pretty, it's, it's a little bit old, but it's pretty good, like, it's, because it's almost no effort, so, basically, you'll need a little bit of energy, and you just gotta do a little bit of farming, and that's it. Oh, and I almost forgot, but, uh, there is one more way in which you can use your, uh, like, energy for all the things that I mentioned before. Uh, if you look here, like, as, a uh, I'm looking at my, uh, characters those are all the characters i own uh you can see that the energy is uh, displayed on every single character but some characters have a different number this is because energy is different for each character so like it's not a family bound thing it's a character bound so um whenever you want to do any of the activities which would consume energy you can actually do it with every single character on your account and it would just consume the energy on that character so like you can see on my character right here it has 288 energy while my other character has 675 so as i'm having like uh i don't know about 20 uh i think it's like what is it 21 it's 26 characters right now right so basically my energy total would be something like 675 multiplied by 26 and I can use all of that energy for all of the tasks I mentioned before. So yeah, this is basically it about energy. Uh, this is kind of the gist of it, what energy is, what you use it for and uh, we also explained like different kind of ways in which you can spend it uh, to in order to get a little bit of money maybe. Uh, so yeah it, uh, the next video is probably gonna be something about like uh contribution points as well i'm gonna explain how to use those as well and um you know give you a, a little bit of uh like a few tips and tricks maybe but uh yeah i hope uh you guys found this video uh useful um i know a lot of people when they start playing the game they don't really know a lot about those uh things on the screen uh even if they do figure out that's energy i could probably i don't know if you hover over it it says energy and it explains it a little bit right but um it doesn't really explain everything i've said in the video right so it's probably a little bit confusing but i hope some of you found this video useful if you got any questions you can leave a comment down below um if you like the video and you found it informative uh you can leave a like uh, maybe subscribe if you want to see more and uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next one peace